Hi guys, this is Eddie and I am on the test server right now testing the new DLC 11 uh, Halls of Power. I'm wearing the new gear Insect Colonies item level 94 and uh, which is available from the vendor and after modding the gear it gives you the combat rating of 108. I'm not going to show you the style, uh, how does it look like uh, because there are already so many videos on YouTube which you can go and check. Uh, I'm only wearing the hands from this uh, insect colonist uh, because that's the only thing I liked in the new style. So I'm gonna do the gadgets DPS loadout. I've been, you know, trying out few different loadouts uh, from past couple of months, and uh, to be honest, this is the only loadout I think which is uh, suitable for the weapon mastery. And uh, let's get to it. Uh, let's get a look at the mods first. I'm using Persian and Power in the yellow sockets, all Persian six in the red sockets, and Might and Health in the blue sockets. Now, uh, why Persian six? Because I think. Uh, this loadout works really well with the weapon mastery so weapon mastery is basically precision and that's why i need to boost my precision a little bit and also the new gear uh tier 6.5 i'm gonna call it tier 6.5 is basically more might based than precision based so that's why i'm using uh precision in the red circuits let's look at the home tough mods i'm using the blast adopter for weapon uh relentless precision for the neck Berserker for back, uh, Penetrating Strikes for chest, Deadly Block for feet and Empower Channeling for hands. This uh, mod does not, you know, uh, really uh, doesn't matter much because I'm not using the Photon in this loadout. So Empower Channeling is good for the Photon. Uh, so hands mod doesn't matter that much. So the Persian right now is 2632 and uh, the Might is 4794 which is really good. Uh, I use uh, Persian Soldier which I am not using right now so after that it will be around 2060, uh, 40 something. So let's look at the skill points as usual. I'm using the Hand Blaster and uh, just don't forget to unlock this Might and Persian in it, uh, whatever weapon you choose. I, I'm, uh, I have unlocked the three weapon masteries, Hand Blaster, Bow and Brawling because uh, I uh, you know, sometimes I, I stay range in, but sometimes I go for the melee. And uh, other than that, for the complete uh, DPS guide, uh, you can check out my video uh, how to skill, how to spec for the uh, DPS. And uh, other than that, but I'm just using. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to using critical attack damage, and critical attack chance. So let's look at the power points. There are two trees, traps, and tricks. So on the traps, I'm using two down in the middle two on the mid right, one on the mid left and one on the far uh, left tricks, one on the top, two on the mid uh, right, two on the mid left and one on the far left. Under iconic powers we are using one weapon expert, 3% uh, critical attack uh, chance and uh, tactical genius 10% critical attack damage. So we are left with one power point, you can use whatever you want, you know, for just for fun or whatever. So let's look at the loadout now. <clears throat> Alright, the number one is Intimidation. Uh, this is your 35% damage bonus and what it uh, basically do is uh, when you're doing the weapon combo it will uh, do additional damage uh, which you can see it, it will be might based, so yellow tick. Uh, so after like uh, if you're doing like tap tap hold, uh, maybe the second tap or you know third hold will do additional damage. So you will see the might tick uh, beside your precision tick. Number second is Napalm Grenade. Some people use Gauze Grenade but I prefer Napalm because this is also damage over time while Gauze is not. So uh, this inflicts burning on the enemies. This is your, uh, I think, uh, one second, 50% damage bonus. Yes, this is your 50% damage bonus. And uh, it inflicts burning on the enemies and it is your damage over time. Number uh, third is Fear Gas. It also inflicts burning on electrified enemies. So bas basically, if there is any, uh, you know, group mate using electricity or anything which uh, consumable which electrifies the enemy, it's gonna inflict burning on the electrified enemy as well. But if your enemy is already burning from uh, your napalm grenade or another user's, you know, fire user, uh, you know, burn the burn the ads. So if your enemy is already burning, it will explode and it will do additional damage. 
Number four is similar to uh, fear gas. Same thing. Uh, this is your. This also increases uh, in inflicts burning. This is also your damage over time, and this is your forty five percent damage bonus. This is your thirty five percent, but this is your forty five percent damage bonus. Uh, these three are AOE, so this means they're gonna hit multiple targets. Number fifty status field. Uh, this is your forty five percent damage bonus, and uh, it is basically uh, damage over time, but for single target. So we're gonna use it uh, to, you know, sometimes there's a boss and there are many ads around him. So we're still gonna use it for the boss because we are mostly locked on the boss. And this loadout is specially designed for the tier 5 and tier 6 raids uh, because uh, I'm not using, you can see, I'm not using Photon because I don't want to waste time doing the Photon. And uh, because uh, this is, I can get more damage out of my Weapon Mastery and Weapon Mastery, uh, you know, might crit and precision uh, tech uh, just by using this loadout. And you can see I'm not using the Suppressor Turret uh, because uh, with the tier 6 uh, raids, your turret is not going to survive much longer. Uh, you might have, you know, done the survival mode before and you can, you know, pretty much imagine how the tier 6 raids are. <coughs> Number 6 is uh, Stealth. We can actually put the Bunker Buster uh, Supercharge here, but we are using Stealth. Why? Because uh, this is a 50% Supercharge, but we're going to use the Supercharge under Stealth mode. So we're going to pop the Stealth mode it's on number six don't forget to put it put your supercharge on number six as well or whatever you know you whatever number you choose for yourself put the supercharge on the same number so you're gonna pop your supercharge uh, you're gonna pop your uh, do the stealth mode you're gonna go in stealth mode and as soon as you get into stealth mode you do the supercharge so it's gonna give you 60% critical ability chance plus critical 60% uh, critical weapon chance attack chance so Basically, it's gonna do additional damage uh, if you use it under stealth. Other than that, I don't think it's you know worth using. Uh, the supercharge is not that good, but if you use it with this one, it's really good. So let's look at the rotation. I am in league hall right now, as you can see. So don't be surprised if you see these targets over here. But uh, the sparring targets are bugged right now. So if I inflict burning on the target, it's gonna disappear really, you know, soon. So it like, uh, I mean, faster than uh, usual time. So don't be, you know, don't panic if you don't see much damage. So here we go. We're gonna start with weapon mastery and we're gonna clip status field with intimidation. Then again, Weapon Mastery, we're gonna do Mayhem. Weapon Mastery, we're gonna do Fear Gas. Weapon Mastery, we're gonna do Cryoform. And by the time you're done with this one, you're gonna do go back to Status Field and Intimidation again. So, did you just see that uh, the, the Mayhem, the burning disappeared? Uh, here you go again. So this is bug right now, but I'm gonna show you. I just use it in the tier six raid, and uh, this is how it looks like. Uh, the ticks are really good. Obviously, burning stays much, much, much longer. So you can do the power interaction with a fear gas and cryo field. And by the time you're done with the uh, this rotation, you can go back and forth. But obviously, uh, you know, I mess up the rotation <laughs> as well uh, because there's you know some so much going on when you are in the raid or alert and you can't really concentrate on the rotation itself so but this is it guys like this is really 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 good damage i did uh, manage to do some really massive damage and um you know uh deal massive damage in the, in the tier 6 rate as well with this loadout so let's look at the supercharge now i'm gonna quickly pop my uh, stealth mode and uh, i'm gonna do the uh, supercharge so it's gonna give me crits on every take the supercharge does so this is what you're gonna do see crit 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 and crit 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 <laughs> so uh don't forget to use it under stealth mode do not use the bunker buster without stealth mode it's not gonna give you you know crits so 
this is it guys and uh, yeah one more thing uh, this bunker buster actually splits damage if there are more than eight or eight you know targets and if you're gonna do it on the you know solo target I don't have supercharge now but if you're gonna do it on solo, solo target it's gonna give right three thousand to four thousand each tick and there are around four to five ticks so this is it guys and uh, don't forget to subscribe and I hope you like the loadout and if you have any questions please comment in the comment section below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. By the way this is I'm in the league hall right now and this is the security wing pretty cool yeah. And uh, so this is it I will see you soon with the, another loadout another you know power another role. So see you soon guys.